Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how to validate a credit card using JavaScript. So let's get right into it. Firstly, how are we going to be validating a credit card? Well, it's going to be a pretty simple way. Firstly, we're going to convert our input into an array of integers so we can easily check each digit in the credit card input. And then we're going to be using the Loon algorithm. And basically, what the Loon algorithm is, it's a form of check digit. And what we need to do is, we need to, starting from the right, double every other digit. If that digit that we just doubled is greater than 9, we're going to mod by 10, then add on 1 to the remainder. After we do that, we are then going to add up every digit in the credit card. And if that sum is a multiple of 10 then it's valid, otherwise it's invalid. And this will work on multiple types of credit cards, like your Amex, your Visa, your Mastercards. There are others, I just don't know them off the top of my head. So let's get into it. Firstly, this is going to be our function. We're going to do function because we want to return a true or a false, true for valid, false for invalid. Validate credit card number, it's the name of our function, and input is going to be the number we want to validate. Firstly, we are going to do let credit card int equals input.split, two apostrophes with nothing in between them, dot map number. And what this line of code does is we're going to be creating an integer array which is this, and then we're going to be splitting, and we're going to be giving each digit of this number, which could be a string or it could be an integer, its own element of this array, which is how which is done by input.split, this, dot map number. After that, we are going to be going on to the step of doubling every other digit. So, we're going to do for let i equals credit card int dot length minus 2, i greater than or equal to 0, i equals i minus 2. So basically, we're going to be starting from the right, and we're going to be going to every other element of this credit card array. Because the step was starting from the right, double every other digit, if greater than 9, mod by 10, and add 1 onto the remainder. That's how, that's the, this is the first step to accomplishing that task, which is to loop through every other element of the array, starting from the right. Then we're going to do two lines of code. We're going to do let temp value equals credit card int i. So basically, we've got a temporary value just to make it a bit easier to work with the current digit that we're checking. So it's just equal to the current credit card val digit that we're checking. Then we do temp value equals temp value times 2. We're multiplying it by 2. After that, we're then going to do if temp value is greater than 9, temp value equals temp value mod 10 plus 1. So the percentage symbol is mod. And what we're doing is temp value is going to be equal to whatever temp value mod 10 is plus 1. So temp value mod 10 is going to get the remainder after we do a division by 10. And then we're going to add 1 onto that. And then whatever that is, it's going to be set to our temp value. After that, we do credit card int i equals temp value. So basically, if it wasn't clear before, when we do our process onto every other digit, we are going to be overwriting that digit with the new value after our calculations. So we do credit card int i equals temp value. And that's it for the massive for loop. The next couple lines of code we've got is going to be adding up all the digits. So we do let total equals zero. Then we do for let i equals zero. i less than credit card int dot length i plus plus total plus equals credit card int i. This is our total variable. This for loop is going to loop for every element of our credit card digit array and total plus equals credit card int i. So we're adding on the current value of the element of the credit card we're looking at onto our total. If we do this for every element in the array, we've added all the digits of that array. After that, we are then going to do return total mod 10 equals zero. So basically, if this new total is a multiple of 10, it's a valid credit card. However, how do we do this? Well, we can use the mod again. So we do total mod 10. If total mod 10 is equal to zero, that means 10 perfectly goes into the total because there are no remainders. However, if we have a remainder, that means it's not a true multiple of 10. And that's it for this tutorial. So we should probably test this function, right? At, at the top of our code, I've got some console log statements. You can obviously call your validate credit card number function wherever you want, but I'm going to do it in a Node.js application to make it quick and simple. So do console.log, validate credit card number, then you put in the number you want to validate. 
I've got some credit card examples here. There'll be a link in the description where you can generate test numbers so you can test out your code. You might also, if you want to, do length checks on the credit cards. For instance, if you don't want Amex, you could do a simple length check because Amex cards are 15 digits long compared to Visa and MasterCard, which are 16 digits long, I believe, because some stores don't like Amex because of the slightly higher fee. Now, before we hit play, if you're on Node.js, I'm going to do one extra thing, but you don't have to do it. Underneath our console log statements, I'm going to be calling a function called keep console open to keep the console open so we can view the output. Underneath our validate credit card number function definition, I'm going to put this keep console open function here. It will be in the description below for you to copy and paste, and there's an eye open for corner if you want to know what it does, but this just keeps the console open. Now let's hit play and see what happens. We've got some trues and falses. So the first four numbers are valid credit card numbers. I got them off that website that I've linked in the description below. And the next two, um, yeah, they're not valid because they clearly don't follow the rules of the Loon algorithm check digit validation. And obviously the very bottom one, I literally just typed 69 um, multiple times. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like in the comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more JavaScript tutorials. Thanks for watching.